going on my YouTube people this is Gavin Assey here again with you and as I have said in the last video I had already unlocked the 300 knockout so the grind is finally over I finally have this weapon and now I, I just got the time you know to make a video about it and that's what I want to talk to you guys about and I want to say potentially this gun is the best weapon in the game I absolutely love this gun I'm I'm a pretty big sniper in the battlefield series like I, I enjoy sniping quite a bit and I just think it's really fun to do and just cannot you know run around and snipe and it's very hard to do so it feels extra rewarding when you can do well with the sniper rifle and it's just overall enjoyable to be good in battlefield with sniping because it's a difficult task but to get back on topic of the 300 knockout this gun is just an absolute beast I've just been enjoying this gun since I've unlocked it you know I don't know if many of you just picked them up off dead bodies and you know used the 300 knockout but it is a really rewarding gun to use it can just draw people and I just wanted to talk about you know some of its strengths and weaknesses you might have already seen videos on 300 knockout but I just wanted to talk about my impression of the gun in general and obviously it has that built-in suppressor so it has a huge drop off the bullet drop is just massive at a range and a lot of people say that this gun is not very good at range but I, in a way, beg to differ. You have to, you know, kind of really understand the drop on the gun and how the suppressor, the built-in suppressor works on it. But you can still really do well at long range with this gun. And you'll see in some of these clips, you can take out enemies at long range. I tend to use, you know, like the micro scope or the micro red dot just because it is a better performing weapon at like the closer range, which is you know 50 meters and closer because that's where it has its highest damage but you know if you get really good at you know kinda estimating where the bullet drop is gonna be you can down people at long range it might be a little bit harder if you're using a, a you know a less zoomed in optic but like I said you can just if you get used to it and this is a gun that you know you're gonna be using a lot you can definitely do a good job at uh, getting kills at long range and the other thing I just wanted to talk about is, you know, unlocking this weapon in the first place because it really is a grind. It took me about two to three days if you sit down and just try and actually go for it and nothing else. And it does take a while and you can get pretty frustrated. And as you've seen in my last video, I just, you know, you just, I started messing around a lot because it, it is so, you know, it gets frustrating trying to use the snipers all the time and they're not the most effective in close range until you get this weapon. But as most of you might know already, the hardest part of unlocking this gun is the camera coins and that'll be like the biggest part of this grind. One way you can get the four tier reputation in one game is kind of like a technique I use or what I've heard about and a lot of people do is you go into servers of hotwired with little to no people, maybe like four or five and you just kind of drive around in cars the whole time. You drive around and get bonuses. And if you're lucky enough in the battle packs, they have a, a reputation bonus where you can earn reputation faster. And I threw those on and made it a little bit easier to earn the four tier reputations or like all four of your perks in one game. So it does get kind of annoying though if, because you'll be driving around in hot wired and you'll have that one guy who's trying to kill everybody and being a douche. But I mean that's kind of like the easy way to get around it I guess that would be kind of considered boosting but I figured with the snipers that'd probably be the easiest way to get all the four tier reputation and other than that your ca the camera coins are going to be the hardest thing but what I did was I played a lot of team deathmatch and you know maybe even some blood buddy but I mostly stuck to team deathmatch and just throw the camera do cameras down as much as you can and try to get the intel assist put them on you know in a street it's definitely easier if you go team deathmatch just because it has the 64 uh, player lobbies and you could just you know, like I said throw them down in a street in areas that you know like where they're spawning or high traffic areas and that's kind of the best way you're gonna do it in my personal opinion I definitely think this gun was worth the grind I like I said I love sniping 
and these battlefield games I feel like it's really rewarding and it's a lot of fun and I feel like if you're if you're a good sniper and if you enjoy sniping you will definitely enjoy having this gun around it uh, you know its weaknesses might be the range but if you use this gun a lot and you get used to how the gun performs and used to just how it acts in general you will have no problem getting some long-range kills every once in a while here and there but overall the coolest part about it is you can use this gun in close range and win a lot of gunfights it is extremely rewarding as a sniper when you run into a room and see you know four or five people and if you're accurate you can just down them one at a time and have no issue taking them all out and it's just overall a lot of fun to use and like I said it's just super rewarding like when you see a whole lot of people and you just take them all out with the bolt action rifle there's no, no better feeling and you feel like such a badass and it's a lot of cool and you'll see some of, in some of these clips here you can just go off with this thing and it's just definitely worth the grind and also before I forget for those of you who aren't aware there is gonna be a, a spring patch coming out for Battlefield Hardline and this will make getting the 300 knockout a little bit easier because they're buffing the cameras and now what they're gonna do is allow the cameras to be able to spot multiple people originally it can only spot one person at a time and also the other cool feature that's gonna be you know part of this buff for the cameras is that those your camera spots are gonna be priority so say if, a, if your teammate spots the same enemy that your camera is already spotted the spotting priority goes to your camera and as of right now that is not the case so say you spot somebody with your camera and then someone spots over it they will get the the points for the spot not your camera so it, it definitely will take away from your intel assist as of right now but as soon as the patch comes it'll be definitely a lot easier to get those camera coins and I'm pretty sure that's what a lot of people have been waiting for so if you could get the 300 knockout before the patch I definitely think it could give you a, an advantage on the battlefield if you're accurate with the sniper but you know if, if you just find it a little bit too hard and too difficult to get those intel assists just stick around until the, until the patch comes out and don't give up on trying to go for the 300 knockout you'll get it uh, definitely the grind is definitely 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 worth it but yeah that's all I have pretty much to talk about for the 300 knockout I definitely want to do you know videos on the other syndicate weapons you know such as the ARM assault rifle and you know double barrel shotgun stuff like that so I'm, I'll grind out for those and let you know how these gun those guns are but as of right now the 300 knockout is the only gun I've been using since I've unlocked it it's just a beast of a weapon definitely go try grind for it and get it if you have the 300 knockout already you know let me know in the comments what you think of it I definitely love this gun just as a sniper in general in battlefield but yeah that's like I said that's all I have for this video if you did enjoy this video please leave a like comment down below and if you haven't already please subscribe definitely helps me out alright you guys have a good one peace